What's up with your YouTube? Big Rod Chevy coming to you with another video. Another video. We're down here at BH. BH Automotive, man. Had to come pick up the dually and my car hauler. Had to get some more work done to it. I gotta get my trailer put in the shop. Like I say, the other day I had a little mishap when I was doing some moving. Jumped off the ball on me and rolled up on my truck. This I had it on the Silverado, not this. But a uh, little light work, man. A little light work. They're going to take this whole, this whole little cap you see right here. It just button up. They're going to take it off and uh, put put a new piece on. Take this off. You can see the the wood still up under there. Everything good. And they'll take this little piece off and put a new piece on there. My man said it'd probably take him probably uh, all of an hour or two. Because they already got a pre-cut. It's already painted. I just got to get it up there to him. Uh, so yeah, we got the dually back, back in operation. I said we had a little small issue with it. We, we got it back right. But uh, yeah, so y'all stay tuned, man. We finna get ready to go. I'm gonna try to go. I already know the Camaro. Ain't no need to talk about the Camaro bill right now. It's got work to be done. Got work to be done on it, uh, but I will I will give them a call to see if those parts came in. I think the the parts that we supposed to have uh, made, we had to get some parts made for the Camaro. Uh, and I'm gonna give I'm gonna we gonna touch on that just a little bit as soon as I get a uh, get a little bit more. Uh, when we, when I get in the dually, man, we we gonna talk about that so I can kind of let y'all know, man. Try keep y'all updated on the builds and everything we got going on. We're gonna go up here and check on. The El Chamino, aka El Chapo. Like I said, I had to pull him off of El Chapo real quick. Like I said, we got a car show this weekend in Steel, Alabama. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna try to put the fly at the end of the video, man. But uh, got a car show this weekend, so I had to pull him off the El Camino uh, so we can go ahead and get the dually because I, you know, that's my workhorse. I need her to pull. She got a job to do. So, uh, but yeah, we did change over the tires on the El Camino. I think personally, man. You know, these were the tires that I first had on the Camaro when I first got them. You know what I'm saying? But uh, they look, these look way better. They look way better. They look better on the El Camino. They're doing some good rims. Nah, I, I got to put something else under there. But, you know what I'm saying? I'll let y'all take a peek, man. Yeah, them old Kragers. <laughs> but they look better than what was on there. You know what I'm saying? And the tires are in much better shape. tires are much better shape i did find out that this right here whatever this material is uh i, get, I just got them in i got those i got those in so that's cool i'll be able to change the locks out on that but whatever that material is man it can be sanded down and painted so it's gonna be painted the same color the car is uh yeah i still say man for what i gave for this car man it, it's amazing and this car was all there it's all there every piece bumper Look at this, this is, a, this is an 83 El Camino. All of the, all the rubbers in there, man. It's, it's amazing, bro. It's amazing. Every piece of rubber and everything on that car, man. So now that I got him, he finna jump back on this one. Uh, he finna jump back on the El Camino. We finna take the, uh, the tack out. Cause her dash, her new dashboard has a built-in tack and everything in it, man. So we finna get ready to, get all that stuff done to it so like i say she'll be she'll be ready she'll be ready i already got wheels and tires for this car so it's never been an issue on that uh you guys never seen my uh i got an 86 87 86 87 uh cutness uh and uh i got some 24s on it i'm gonna i'm gonna take them off because of the the theme she kind of going with it's gonna probably match this car a little bit better than it's doing the colors i'm gonna put some probably gonna upgrade the colors man when i get ready to do it uh we got aluminum block uh 60 uh 60 going into it well it's not a 60 it started out as a 60 but uh after we put the waffle making and everything on it so we'll we'll, de we'll decide then what it's gonna be but uh that's gonna be a that's gonna be a later much later be it might probably later on in the year i got other stuff to that's in front of it uh 
But yeah, that's gonna probably be it for the El Camino. El Camino probably gonna be ready now since I had to jump, push it back for a minute. El Camino probably be ready sometime, probably I'm gonna say uh, middle of next week. And then from here, she'll go straight to, straight to the, uh, to the interior guy. It's gonna do interior, sunroof, and audio gonna all be done at one time, in one spot. You know what I'm saying? So it's gonna be real interesting, real interesting. Right, right here in Huntsville, man. Huntsville, Alabama, man, do it. Like I say, he was doing interior, kind of took me off guard. I didn't know Cud did interior. You know what I'm saying? But he was the one who originally uh, wrapped my Suburban, man. Shout out to TP, 96TP. Y'all go to his Instagram, 96TP. Uh, see his work, man. Cuz awesome. But uh, like I said, man, y'all stay tuned for it. And uh, I'll hit y'all back. All right, you two. So we got everything paid for now. We locked and loaded. I did have somebody ask me about how big the trailer was, uh, my car hauler. It's like I said, it's just a single car hauler, man. I ain't I ain't getting nothing big. It's black, it's a little blackout kit. I ain't got no problem showing nobody nothing, bro. Uh, what I gave for it right there. Plus the tax, I think came up to like, like nine band, nine thousand some odd dollars, something like that. Uh, this the company I got it for, they're out of Georgia. Circle Double B trailer sales. You see the number 912-715-8161. Try to give y'all a look on the inside of it real quick. These are the tires that came that was on the uh, El Camino. Like I say, um, like I said, man, they just pretty much a dry ride it for the most part of it, man. They dry ride it, but like I say, man, it's just something simple. I'm gonna do some stuff to it. Uh, like I say, a lot of folks, man, I, as we've been going to these car shows and stuff like that, kind of gave me a few ideas, man. Put the, uh, they make a black material. I don't know exactly what it's called, man, but uh, they put it on the walls and on the floor. Uh, I'm gonna put an AC unit on here. Put me a TV and everything in here. So, when you go to a car show and I'm not able to take my RV with me for whatever reason, when I back my car out, we can come back in and chill out with the AC on. Only thing I ain't got in here is a bathroom. As you know, they got them little porta potties, you know. You can put them anywhere though. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, some light. But uh, I'm finna go ahead and get everything moved out. I got a couple of guys behind me. So as soon as I get everything moved out, uh, YouTube, man, I'm a, when I get in the, when I get back in the truck, we're gonna take the truck, get it dropped off. I just wanna bump heads with y'all about some stuff, man, about these bills, man. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get with y'all on it. Like, ain't no no issues or nothing like that, but I have a bunch of people, man, that's uh, really just been, you know, on my inbox. They don't they don't send it through the, uh, they don't send it through YouTube, man. They, you know, they inbox me, you know what I'm saying? Just pretty much kind of just hit me up, man, and just, so I said uh, I was going to address it on my YouTube channel. Like I say, but before before we get started, it ain't no no issues. Big Rod Chevy ain't got no issue with nobody, no shops whatsoever. It's just pretty much information, man. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, about how I go about my, my bills and things like that. So we're going to address it, man, uh, once we get in the car, man. So just give me a minute. I'll holler back at you in a minute. All right, you two, we back. So... Let me let me just uh, address a few things, man. Like I said, this this ain't one of them type them type blogs, man. Where you know it's gonna be some type of drama, nothing like that. Um, I ain't got I ain't got no issues like that. But just on the bill type thing, let me set my mirror back like I needed to. Just on the bills and stuff like that. Uh, like I said, if you catch one of my other vlogs, man, you see me tell you, man, kind of build your vehicle to your own. How your own speed is when i say your own speed i'm talking about your own pockets your own money your own time um like i said i got about three or four different bills going on all at the same time right now you know what i'm saying for multiple different reasons you know what i'm saying uh but the number one reason is that you're able to do it 
you know, if you're not able to do it, then you're going to have to slow your roll and get the stuff done that you can get done. Um, but with these shops and stuff like that, man, um, I just really urge my people, man, uh, be careful with these shops, man. Just be real careful with these shops. It's a lot of shops you're going to, man. Audio, video, paint, body, uh, metal fab, suspension. These folks, is they, they taking it there, bro. They taking it there. I'm talking about they really, really taking it there. Um, I had some uh, info come across my come across my way, man. Uh, this was up towards the northern area, you know. Uh, somebody that took the car up to the shop, and I suppose for whatever whatever took place, the uh, the the dude and um, and the shop owner kind of had some words. And at the end of the day, the shop was like, "Well, man, you can come get your car." And he was like, "Okay, I'm gonna come get my car, but I want my money too," you know. And my man was like, well, you ain't getting shit. So he, he came on up there. And when I say he came on up there, partner, he brought he brought hellfire and damnation with him. At the end of the day, shop owner shot. People's cars got tore up in the process. Bullet holes all in folks' cars. Uh, I don't know if the shop owner died. I do not know. I just know the man got shot. Uh, and... You know, all of this, and I come to find out that all of this because this man had uh, SS Monte Carlo in the shop, and when he closed his trunk, the trunk didn't line up. It, was, it, looked, it looked like the trunk was still open. I'm like, dang, you did all that for that? You know, I'm quite sure it could have been like a principal or something like that. Probably you about to go to prison. You understand that? On principal? You finna go to prison, bro, for a very long time. So, you know, again, I say, people, man, y'all y'all be careful out there, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all, please be careful out here dealing with these shops. This is this, this what I recommend. This is just my recommendation. It's just me. If you one of them cats that got your car in the shop, and your car been in this shop, in whatever stage of, of a rehabilitation that is in, and you getting to the point where you starting to feel that little, and I don't know how a woman would feel, I don't know. I'm talking to my men out here. Cause you know, I can relate. If you got, if you starting to get that little, that tingly feeling in your stomach to the point where it's in the back of your head and then it's starting to make you feel some type of way. Hey man, go get your will. Go get your will. Go get it. Take it home, go take it to another shop. Go get your will because the next phase past that could possibly lead you in prison. I don't know why. I, I do not know why these shop owners and 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 these, these these paint shops or body shops or metal fab shops or whatever the case, man. I, I don't know why they moving the way they moving, but I, I see now that the community. Uh, uh, these people, man, is getting these cars fixed, these off-frame restoration fixed and stuff like that. These, these people getting fed up, bro. Real talk. Real talk. To my to my to my car people, that my my shop people that watch my vlogs. Hey, if you if you got a uh, if this if you see somebody, man, y'all might need to start going more in depth on your uh, builds. You know what I'm saying? Ask these people, what type of, you know, what are you expecting? You know, what type of time frame are you expecting to get this type of work done? And if you see that time frame, don't meet the actual time frame. Let them know. Get it in writing. Put it on paper. Let them sign it. That also helps you out in a, a lawsuits later on. But, you know, let them sign it so you can kind of get an idea of, of what they expect. Because these folks ain't playing by the rules, man. This man came and shot the whole shop up. Like I said, I do not know if he killed the shop owner. I do not know. I do know this man was shot. I do not know anything past that. Like I said, he was up north. Uh, but y'all, man, y'all be careful out here, man. There's some people out here that ain't that just playing playing for keeps real talk 
they playing for keeps. And it ain't fair, and it ain't right. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't, and I'm just saying that I'm on the outside looking in too, people. I don't know what the conversation entailed of. I don't know what was said, what was not said. It could have been a, a motherfucker here, or a, a, a punk nigga this, or something, I don't know. But uh, whatever it was, you gotta be prepared, man. These folks ain't out here playing no more. For real, for real. And it could have went another way. It could have went, he could have got up there and the shop owner could have unloaded. You know, so bottom line, man, it ain't that deep, man. Remember, at some point, man, this is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be an adventure, it's supposed to be exciting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think somebody might have missed that memo. These folks out here losing their life. Rehabilitating cars. I was like, dang. So, you know, that's my that's my little bit of my little bit of info on it, man. Like I say, my shop people, if these people's expectations ain't ain't lining up or you see that it's not realistic, don't take that car. Get them folk that car back. All money ain't good money. All money ain't good money. I'm just being honest with you. You know what I'm saying? I'm a hum I'm human myself. I got, I got my moods, I got my attitudes, and everything just like the next man do. You know what I'm saying? And that's why 90% of the time you will see me rolling, you will see me out and about, man. I'm dolo. I'm just being honest with you. I got a ton of cars, man. A lot of nice stuff. And 90% of the time, if I'm with my, if I ain't with family or close friends, I'm dolo. Just for the simple fact, I'm not one of them type cats that just let it go. I ain't never been that type cat. Been a one home and laid down, and I'll be laying next to you. So to keep from all that going about, I stay, I stay to myself. I stay to myself. That's why you don't, I, you don't hear me tied up or wrapped up in too much drama. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty much pretty cool fella, man. I'm pretty chill, pretty chill, Bill. You know? But yeah, this, you know, this, it's, it's some other stuff going on out here in the world, man. Y'all just be careful. Uh, Please be careful, man. I don't wish no, I don't wish death on nobody. Let's own a bullet in the chest. Yeah, that by the way, my man got shot in the chest. Like I said, I do not know if he died or what, but I'm just saying. That probably was the last thing you thought about when you woke up that morning when you gonna you'd be laid up fighting for your life with a bullet in your chest over somebody else's car. So, just a thought, man. Like I say, um, my people, y'all be careful out there, man. Uh, just wanted to share that with y'all, man. Real talk. Uh, on a better note, like I said, we got a car show this weekend. Again, we'll be in Steele, Alabama. Uh, I will try to post a flyer at the end of the video, man. Uh, still working on this old GoPro, man. I ain't learned it 100%, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Uh, I like the fact that everything being 4K, though. That's what I do like. But, uh, again, I say, man, uh, I'll be careful out there, man. Uh, please be careful. You know, if you see yourself getting into a bind or a tough situation, man, nowadays, for your life's sake, man, go the other way. It ain't worth it. Go the other way. Just being honest with you, go the other way. It ain't worth it. But uh, y'all stay tuned, man. Uh, like I said, we got, got metal and stuff coming back for... Uh, the other part of the Camaro build and uh, it should be on the way man Camaro build should be on the way uh, the uh, the Suburban build it's almost through it's almost done uh, y'all gonna like the Suburban I really, I really believe y'all gonna dig the Suburban. You gonna really like it. Uh, it's cool. It turned out a thousand times better than what I thought it was gonna be. Being honest with you, uh, that color that's, that the Suburban was painted. If you don't do it right, man, it will blotch. It'll thin. You can start seeing. You'll start seeing thin points in it. It, it, it can go a lot of different ways. You gotta have a bad painter to paint that color. I'm just being honest with you. So. Uh, you know, yeah, it's, 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 it turned it turned out 
and I haven't seen it in person yet, just video, but uh, it turned out, if it looked that good on video, oh my God, oh my God. But uh, y'all stay tuned, man. Uh, I got a little bit more running to do today. Like I said, we out. It's pretty outside today. Try to get a little work done. And uh, y'all stay tuned, man. Uh, but my, you know, everybody that's uh, that's watching, man, if I came across your feed, man, uh, please uh, join the channel, man. Like, share, subscribe. Click notification bell so you get notifications. Uh, like I said, pretty much, man, it's getting warm out here. I'm riding right now. I got the AC on. It's warm in the Bama. It's warm in Bama. Real warm. Today it is. So, uh, uh, like I said, you'll see me at the car shows. I got a little, little getaway coming up, man. Something like do with the kids and the fam, man. But uh, like I said, y'all just stay tuned, man. Stay tuned to the vlogs. Stay tuned for the bills, man. And I'll get back with you in a minute. Uh, like I said, we're going to see what else I got going on today. Like I say, y'all going to ride with me today, man. See what we can get worked out on. So, uh, y'all stay tuned. All right, YouTube. So, we back. Like I said, we had a little running to do today. Had to get a little work done. At least a little bit. Uh, came up here to the wash, man. Got Finally got that old Silverado. Let it get a little wet. Cleaned up. And then, you know, we got Big Baby back today, so... I'm going to go and swap Big Baby out with it. See if I can get him to clean it up a little bit. Yeah, you'd be surprised, man, how many folk don't, don't want to make no money. Big Baby nasty, man. Got to get her cleaned up. to get a cleaned up. So, body nasty. So, yep, they uh, got this squared away. Gonna get this one squared away, so then I'll... and get the you're gonna go ahead and jump off in the Silverado just got it cleaned up so see what we got going on man I've been hearing a lot of shop talk say what now yeah I already had I ain't know you ain't, I ain't know There go the crew right there. Keep it clean up. On this spot. Right here in Madison. But uh, I'll let y'all take a look at uh, how they got. Ooh, they got the rider clean. I'll let y'all take a look at the rider. Got her looking like she, about might, she might be worth a few dollars. So yeah, just drop that one off. Drop Big Baby off, man. We're going to see if we can get Big Baby squared away. I don't know if y'all probably got the hint. Y'all been watching my videos. You'll see that uh, I might not have no 20, 21s or 2019s and stuff like that, but the little cars that I do got, 
I keep it clean. My car's got to be clean. Mm -hmm. Try to take care of the things that I do got. Hopefully, uh, the good man above will see to bless me with some more. You know what I'm saying? That's how I look at it. Tell, boy, there'll be some little people in here cleaning up, man. They have my seats all out of way. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, they have my seats all out of way when I get back in here. Oh. But yeah, it's a pretty warm day today. I'm gonna have to come up out this jacket here in a minute. It's a pretty warm day today. But um, just wanted to just, you know, touch base, man. Like I said, it's a light work, light day today. Light day today. You know, I'm getting a little work done. Uh, I mean, be bumping that. Copyright. Uh, it's a light day today, man. But for the most part of it, man, my good people. Like I say, I, what I, I said what I said, man. Y'all be careful out here with these bills. I was just uh, just a minute ago, like I said, I went and got me some lunch. Uh, went and got me some lunch, man. Came to the crib before I get ready to go to this meeting. And uh, I was watching another guy that I watch on that I watch on YouTube, uh, uh, Real to Real, a Real to Real, uh, you know. He touching on the same thing that I was just talking to y'all about. These shops. You know what I'm saying? And like he was saying, it don't really matter how much money you got, who who you are, your clout, your what you got, what type of what type of uh weight you got on your name or whatever, man, these folks will do you any kind of way. So again, I reiterate, man, y'all be careful with these builds. Y'all be careful choosing these shops. Y'all be careful. You know what I'm saying? Because man, the, the out the, the outlook on these things could be it, it can go left, it can go right. Especially nowadays, man. You know, people taking losses. You know, y'all y'all take y'all pay attention to y'all bills and stuff like that. When they, you know, tell them when you when you getting your bill. Tell them I want an itemized bill. Tell me I need to know exactly what you charging me for what and this and that. Because man, these folk getting took down through the. You know what I'm saying? I can see, you know. I can, see, I can see how I can bring the ugly side out of you. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? I'm just speaking for, for Big Rods. You know what I'm saying? Because um, I can't take no L's like these boys be taking L's. Like, you know, you know, Real to Real was just saying that, you know, I think he had to take like maybe a maybe five or $600 loss. They said they took some off his bill because he said it was taking too long for it to come in and then... They didn't even uh, take it off his bill, man. And I, hey, that that's that's not uncommon. That's not uncommon, man. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with these. I don't know what's wrong with these folk, man. Real talk. I don't know. So that's why, I just you know, my people, man. Y'all be y'all be careful with y'all bills, man. And uh, be careful who you let trust, man. Who you let trust to do your do your work. You know what I'm saying? I I used to say, man, if I go to a shop and I see my man got business and cars lying all out the building, he probably ain't gonna be the shop I go to. Because every time I come to your shop, man, I keep seeing the same cars. Why you ain't working on these four cars, man? You know, but it could be a thousand different reasons on that. A lot of people like to take their cars to the shop and then not pay the man to fix them. You know, and then some shops work on what they call an the operating schedule. Like, you might have a body work to do, paint work to do, interior work, and what they normally do is like they, when they do your body work, that's a charge. They're not moving forward until you pay that bill to that to that part of your bill. You know what I'm saying? If they told you they're gonna charge you eight thousand for body work, they're gonna do the body work. They want their eight thousand. Soon as they get through with that body work, then we'll start on your interior work. Interior work gonna be eight thousand. I want my eight thousand when I got through. Then we'll start on your paint work and and so forth. You know what I'm saying? A lot of a lot of companies uh move like that. You know, a lot of companies just because. You know, you they run into problems with people not, you know, you do a thirty, forty thousand dollar build on somebody's car and then they can't come pay for it. 
or something didn't happen, they done went to jail, and you stuck working on these folks' car with all that money and all that time invested, you know, so, you know, I understand, I can say, I can, un I can understand sometimes on both aspects on how, why people move the way they move, but man, you just gotta be careful, man, because like, like they say, man, people ain't taking this laying down like they used to, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't like work like it used to, man. These, these folks will come see, come see, come see about you, man. When it come down to their money, and it come down to these cars, they parts. That's another thing. You be careful who you let work on your car. You know what I'm saying? You got a rare car. Somebody been just took a part off of it. You know, took it and sold it to somebody else. It's, it's a lot of crookedness out here, man. So you gotta find you a shop that you deal with, that you cool with. You know what I'm saying? And just kind of work it from there. Because um, it can go a different way. It can go a different way, definitely. But uh, like I say, man, y'all just be careful with your bills, man. I'm going to see if I can get a sneak peek of the bourbon bill in just a little bit, man. I got an appointment to kind of catch, like I mean, a meeting to go to. And then uh, I'm going to be over in that area anyway, so I'm going to see if I can get a little sneak peek of the bourbon. I might just, you know, if I can... Just shoot you a quick, shoot you a quick little, little snap. But uh, y'all just stay tuned, man. I'll holler back. All right, YouTube. So, uh, say so getting back to the crib. And everything squared away. Uh, like I was telling, man, I was just saying, when you, uh, for this car show stuff, like I say, I, I'm not one of the type guys that got a crew with them. I ain't got no whole bunch of people that roll with me outside of family. You know what I'm saying? But when you do, man, I don't know if y'all know this, and we'll talk about this at another time. If you, but it's a lot. It's it's a lot, bro. It is a lot. You know, getting ready for your car show, getting your cars ready, especially when you're taking probably more than one whip. It, it can it can it can be a lot. I had to come back here. I'm trying to get some stuff squared away. I'm trying to get some work done on this food on this food trailer. Show y'all what we got going on on the food trailer. Like for example, um, I need to. This thing here is broke. The jack is broke on it. But as you can see, it's welded to the frame. So I'm gonna get my buddy over here tomorrow. We're gonna cut the weld off, and then I got a motorized jack like I put on my. Uh, my uh my my camper in the back but yeah man just in case y'all don't know man it's 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 a lot it's a lot uh getting all this stuff ready man real talk i wish i could tell you it's light work but it ain't and when you got a whole lot of stuff you know it's it's a it's a lot of work it's a lot of work man just trying to map out man i got a lot of work getting done over at this property so I'm just trying to get it mapped out for so I can tell the guys pretty much what I want done. So while I'm while I'm not here, they can go ahead and get started. I don't need you. I don't like nobody holding up on me when you can you already know what to get done. I wish they'd just sell me this property, people. This is it's a beautiful beautiful little piece of land right next to my property. You know? And it can't you might not be able to see it through there, man. It's an old ran down like a like a little I think each one of them apartments there's two bedrooms but it's, it's it's about to fall apart but i like to have it man and knock all this down and just add it to my property it's a ditch on this other side man i'll show y'all in a minute but uh i like to have all of that they are just gone gone and just come down on them on that on that price man they won't they asking astronomical for it you know what i'm saying and then they had the nerd to ask me to sell my property <laughs> whatever but you can see, man, just right here, it's a ditch. It kind of divides, and it go all the way down, all the way down to the, my property line, righteously, righteously, my property line kind of stopped. Uh, let's see what he said. Kind of right here where you see it starting to clear up it, I kind of stopped, because I had all this stuff cut down. There was trees all back there, so. Right here is where you see my property line kind of stop at an angle. But like I say, I like to have all that back there. I like to have all that back there. But, um, 
Yeah. I gotta get the I gotta get the RV, take it, and get it uh I had it winterized, but you know, air the tires and stuff back up on it, get it all cleaned up, pressure washed down, washed. It's a lot of work, man. And I'm just a one-man show, you know what I'm saying? But don't worry, like I said, I, I, I'm going to have it done. I'm going to have it done. Uh, need to pull these golf carts out. Pull these golf carts out. One last year, I went on ahead and got new batteries in it. Probably going to have to put new batteries in the other one, too. So then they'll be ready for the whole year. Let's go over here and check out, see what we got going on. This the one, I might have probably have put batteries on that one. Let me see, yeah. yeah. I might have probably put batteries on this one. This one already right here, she was, I put batteries on that one already. So she ready, she good to go. Just need to bring it out. Yeah, when you accumulate as much stuff as I do, There go, the, go the seats for the Camaro right there. The nice days. ZL1. Both of them, it's the back seat right there. So, but yeah, man, just. Which one we got? That the table? Yeah, we put the table and stuff in here. And I keep a lot of my little stuff for my, my uh, home remodels and stuff like that being here. Like I say, when you got when you got properties, man, and rental properties and stuff like that. You gotta learn how to keep your old gallon of paint here and there. Cause uh in my in my line of business, probably you sure gonna need it. You sure gonna need it. But yeah, man. It's a lot of work sometimes getting all this stuff ready, man. But uh, like I said, we'll save that for another vlog, man. Just telling y'all, man, it's, it's a lot. Like I said, you looking at a one-man show, you know. Like I said, I, I get it done, man. It, you know, it's a lot, but it ain't. It's a lot when you don't like, when you don't like doing it, but when you having fun, bro. Uh, the first time I have been back here since I had them gutters put up. Them black gutters look good, though. They put, they did real good. It was a leaf, it was a leaf guard, I think it was leaf guard. Yeah, they did, they came out and put the gutters and stuff up. All right, so I'm finna finish up the remodel on this, on this property, and then jump back on mine. But, uh, yeah, yeah. That, that, that long drive I poured, man, that, that driveway I poured, that long one, and then put that slab back there. That could have been, that's the best thing I could have possibly ever done outside of putting this circle drive. circle drive right there that's made it easy to get in and out of especially when you're on the main street you can just come on in and circle on around you know what I'm saying so yeah they did a pretty good job on the old router boy they cleaned up pretty nice make it like she might be worth a few dollars See the old game changer in there. Sitting up in the in there chilling. But yeah. So uh like I say, man, uh real talk, man. Uh like I say, if you're not uh uh on the page, man, like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell. I will be posting a lot. <laughs> so uh, I just don't believe in bringing you garbage content. You know what I'm saying? If I ain't got nothing to show you, I ain't gonna worry, man. This is this one thing I do hate about staying on a busy road, bro. You know what I'm saying? People forever own stuff in your yard. Set of home bottles and little liquor bottles. They kill me with that stuff, bro. I ain't never been in one like yeah.
it is what it is. But um, like I said, man, I ain't gonna hold y'all no longer. I'll be uh, giving y'all a sneak preview, man, if I can, real soon, probably on my next vlog, man, of the bourbon. Oh, man, them, them, man, they look good, bro. Them, them black gutters look good. They did. They set the whole crib off to me. Yeah. Then they them wide gutters, too. They put them wide ones up there. All the way around the front. They look good, man. They look real good. But, yeah. Y'all stay tuned, man. I, for the builds. I got more builds coming. And uh, I tell y'all what, man, y'all jump in the comments real quick, man. You get a chance to jump in the comments. Tell me what y'all like to see next on the Big Rod Chevy channel, man. You know, just kind of give me an idea of where my channel going. I'm new. So, you know, give me an idea of what y'all like to see as far as, you know what I'm saying, on the build scene or just visualizing off the rip, you know what I'm saying, on shop talk, you know what I'm saying, what y'all like to see in the shops, what topics would y'all like to see me, you know what I'm saying, explore a little bit on the channel, you know. So y'all just kind of let me know what you want to see, man. Uh, jump in the comments and let me know. But until then, man, Big Rod Chevy, checking out.